All right, so I got a quick tip when you're doing your core aeration, so let's get into it. So if you have tight spaces in your yard for aerating, if you're one of those people who do it yourself like me, uh, this is how I kind of handle those tighter spaces that I can't get my tractor into or I feel like I'm gonna make more damage than good. So, so how do I take care of aeration in tight spots? I use a tool like this one. So on the end of this, you'll see there's these hollow tines. So it's just like a, a core aerator, but it's manual. So you can use it to get through like tight spaces like this, where I might do more damage with the tractor and the pull behind aerator. So. doing this I try to keep something in mind which is kind of the direction the mower will be going so let me show what I mean so I'm thinking I'll be coming down this hill and it'll be easier for me to make a straight line right here so you'll see the tines go right up on the edge of this side and then if I come over here you'll notice they go on the straight edge here as well so here's what the core manual core aeration looks like so this is what's gonna break down and they break down on top, creating almost like a top dressing. So, in this tight spot, this will work really well. Suburbia Dad is out.